Hello friends, this is Music Man from his living room, and I want to talk to you about fear. Future events appearing real. I'm not talking about rational fear, like defensive driving. I'm not talking about like, you know, reg normal fears, like uh, you shouldn't jump off that 70 foot cliff, you know, it, it might actually break you up, it, 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 especially if there's rocks in the water below. I'm not talking about fears like that. I'm talking about as I saw TV and how they're trying to scare you and frighten you and manipulate you into make, making certain actions. And I've seen this happen a million times. And I've, I've actually fallen for it at car dealerships. So let's talk about it. Fear. And how it is not emotion to be trusted. So, fear. I was watching cable TV uh, in the hotel room um, as we were out of town and you want to watch that video on TV and also on politics. Oh man, are they little to ramp up the fear. And it reminds me of times when they've ramped up the fear on me. Uh, does this one sound familiar? Uh, you go to look at a car, someone's selling a car, and you walk up to it and you're looking at the car, and while you're sit sitting there looking at the car and you get in it and you want to test drive it and listen to the motor, they'll say things like this. Someone was just here looking at this just the other day, and uh, they said they were going to call me. Stuff like that. What are they playing on? They're playing on irrational fear. I'm going to lose it. I'm going to lose it. Now, anymore, I walk up and someone says, here, I have a Pinto, and I want nothing less. I'm $3,000 firm on this Pinto. And if you want this Pinto, you're going to pay me $3,000. This is what I do. Bye. Walk away. Fear, scare tactics. Dealerships do this. You, they, they come out and they, they love to play this on you. Oh, there's only one in this color. And if you don't buy it, I, I there was a lady in here just two hours ago, and they're looking to buy the car. And so what, are you, so what, what, what happens? You're thinking, oh my goodness, what are they playing on? They're playing on irrational fear. There was no lady. They made it up. There's a lady looking at the car. Um, so why do they do that? Well, television ramps this up too, and I've told you about that. For a limited time only. If you don't get it now, you never will. How many times have they done that with the Star Wars movies? How many times have they had a Disney movie coming out of the vault? If you don't get Snow White right now on DVD, you'll never have a chance to get it again. Then, two years later, Snow White now, the ultimate platinum diamond edition on Blu-ray. And if you don't get it right now, you don't have a chance. Laser view. The last time. We really mean it. It's like always going out of sales kind of thing. Fear. They ramp it up. And f fear is future events appearing real. Uh, you should never buy a car. It could end up being a fright pig, if you know what a fright pig is, uh, uh, based on fear. Oh, no, you got to pay for it right now. You can't take it to a mechanic. This car is just ready to go. i got 15 people looking at it, okay? Then let them look at it. I want to take it. Now, I, you have all the paperwork on it. I want to take it to a reliable mechanic and so forth. So the most horrific financial decisions you can make in your life is based upon scare tactics, based upon fear, okay? Um, I want to do another video here in a moment about going into the bank yesterday. <laughs> I think you guys will get a pretty good laugh out of this. You guys are already know the people that I follow. You know what I read. You know what I study. And this, bless her heart, this bank teller was trying to scare me. She was really trying. I mean, she was giving it her dead level best. There's only one thing. I don't have anything to be afraid of anymore. I'm not a slave anymore. My debts are gone. I don't have a house payment. I don't have a car payment. I have no credit card debt. I have no debt. Period. The end. So people try to scare me. Okay? Okay. They can't believe it when I take the highest uh, deductible on my cars and on my house. They're like, oh my goodness, because most people today, believe it or not, uh, and you can read this online, uh, they can't afford a $400 emergency if it comes up right now. I'm like, no, I'm not worried about that. Okay, so fear, future events appearing real. If 
if you don't get this right now, if you don't do this right now, uh, somebody's going to come and do some horrible thing to you or something really, really bad is going to happen. You can insure yourself to death. You can have insurance for everything. Everything. And guess what? This is absolutely a true story. You're going to laugh. I'm not going to say the organization because that would be slander. Slander on the internet. <laughs> she bought identity theft through our bank. Okay? Well, believe it or not, of course, a couple of days ago she got hacked. Our worst fear, right? Someone's taking your credit card. When we went on vacation, obviously when she scanned her card, that's why they have that chip now. When she scanned her card, somebody stole her credit card number and all of a sudden someone's charging up stuff or her debit card. They're charging up stuff on Texas, so they shut it down. So we thought it was our, her identity theft that had caught it. No, it was just the basic stuff because guess what? Her identity theft that she had been paying $12.99 for for the last five, six years wasn't even activated. <laughs> she got on to look on there. I told her she could look at it. <laughs> it wasn't even activated. Fear. She paid $12.99 for something that they never even bothered to activate through our bank. Anyway, we'll talk more about fear. Fear is not an emotion to be trusted. People come up and they're trying to frighten you about something and making you hysterical about something. People, uh, they do this to elderly people on the phone. The phone scams, that's how they fall for it. You know, and, and there's a, multiple ways. If someone's trying to scare you and, uh, at the bank or they're trying to scare you with credit cards or they're trying to scare you with something that you need to do or you, something you need to uh, step, take a step back because, and hold on to your wallet because somebody's after your money <laughs> about 99.3% of the time. Uh, most things that are scary you can see. Don't over-insure yourself. Don't live in a cycle of fear. We'll talk about more, more about it later. Take care.